Hey everybody, I'm just walking to my friend's house for lunch. Uh, I've known Belinda for, I don't know, since we were eight years old. So this is what I'm saying about how sticky it is to be like not moving from a location where you kind of know everybody about how hard it is to move away from a place that you've you know, known so well. I mean, I went to school in this area and I uh, went away and worked overseas for a couple of decades and came back and, you know, I am, um, I live, a lot of my friends live in this area. And then, wow. It's such a glorious color. Oh my goodness. Isn't that gorgeous? That is, a bougainvillea. Apparently it's heritage is in Peru. Is that right guys? Just at my friend's face at the moment. I'm here with my friend Belinda. Hey Melinda. So, hi. <laughs> Do you like walking? I love walking. Okay, yeah. what's your favourite trail ever? Favourite trail ever? Yeah. Um, Patagonia in oh. Chile was very beautiful. Oh. Yes. Yep, yep. Okay, so Belinda has told me uh, just today about Patagonia and it runs across Chile yep. and Argentina. Yep. I'm going to put that on my on my to-do to yeah. list, maybe 2026. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's not a Camino though, no. is it? No, no, <laughs> but it is a very special path. Like Camino just means walking in yeah. Spain. So. Yeah. Oh, right. okay. Right, right, right. Yeah. Now, okay, the other yeah. thing too is that Belinda is fluent in Spanish mm -hmm. and her partner actually is a native Spanish speaker. And I asked him about... Chile. From Chile though, yeah. from Chile. Yeah. I asked him about the coffee situation in Spain and he said... Well, I don't drink coffee. So okay, all right. So, all right. right, okay, okay, fine. Okay, we're gonna have to find you. Come yeah. here, come here, you. <laughs> tell yeah. me, tell yeah. me in Spanish, yeah, the coffee, channel. you're on my channel, the coffee in Spain. What do you what do you think about the coffee in Spain? The best coffee in the world is from Melbourne. <laughs> El mejor coffee, el mejor coffee en el, el coffee, coffee. café en el mundo es de es en Melbourne. Ah, there you go. You heard it first from a native Spanish speaker. All right, don't come at me at the comment section. Sophie. Hi baby. Good morning guys. It's Saturday, November the 16th. It's about nine o'clock and um, it's going to be quite hot today, about 33 degrees Celsius. I'm suffering still from hay fever and I've been really stubborn about taking medication like Zyrtec. And I'm just hoping that once we get to December that my hay fever will go away. But you're talking about puffy eyes, runny nose just itchy throat that kind of thing you know it's quite horrible because i like to be outdoors and and it's hard <laughs> anyways i am thinking about doing a little bit of tiny tidying up of my garden so um i'm going to show you my herb garden because i think i might dry some this time it's an old bench that's broken and that's where i put my sort of all the pots for my herb garden um i'm pretty sure that this this no this this and this is weed so i'm going to remove those today although just i don't know anyways but today the subject of my affection are these thyme this is the greek thyme which i don't really understand i have never really cooked anything with greek thyme but i love this herb thyme it's great for chicken and i put it in stews and soup too a viewer kindly told me that this is oregano so i'm gonna do a bit of a clean coriander is coming out this one needs to be harvested too and then this is um coriander as well i love coriander but it's not doing that well um just that one might be okay and parsley i would love to get more of this so yeah i'm just gonna try. so my mum gave me this pair i think it's called secateur i think that's how you say it anyway it's a bit blunt i've got another one too but i can't find it it's a bit sharper oh, okay Okay, so we're just going to trim this. I can't really film and <laughs> I'll try. See, it's not very sharp at all, so I'm not sure how this is working out. But it's like unruly hair, isn't it? 
excuse me for sniffing. I'm not sure this is the right way to trim it, but. Oh. Well, I've come up with a different pair of scissors. This one is more of a kitchen scissors, but it's going to be my gardening scissors today. Watch this. There's beauty in very sharp scissors. See? <laughs> Oops. Voila! Now I'm just going to bundle this and hang it up so that it's dried and I can have dry time, which is so well used in cooking. Let's just pop that now to tackle Greek thyme. Yeah, it's kind of no, it's my strongest time. Snip, 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 snip. Now, when this happens to coriander, I, I, I hear that's not very good, so I think I might cut it. What do you reckon? Cut it. There you go. I'll leave the oregano alone for now and get rid of the weeds. The weeds down there, and now it's to. That's better, isn't it? <laughs> so I've got these two bunches of herbs, Greek thyme and standard thyme, um, T-H-Y-M-E for those who might not know so much about herbs. And uh, I think I'm going to tie it up with these rubber bands and then just string them up. Okay. I love gardening. Um, I think it's also uh, a sign of the time too, you know, um, as I get older I appreciate the idea of growing your own food and I love herbs I just don't know their names <laughs> I will try and learn more about them and just to make it look a bit pretty when you hang them on the window sill it's a wrap this it's a this came with the um the sunflowers so by the way, I just heard from Margaret. Here's something that she sent us. So I'm just coming to the end of my walk. I actually went to the gym this morning, had a leg session with my PT, then spent two hours doing Spanish, and then I've come and done this loop. It's about six kilometers. It's about this root reservoir is called Green Booth, and there used to be a village here that was um, obviously flooded to make the reservoir, but there's another two reservoirs further up there in that valley. And then this is the first day that I've seen any blue, blue sky for nine, 10 days. Um, big chimney over there. When I first moved into this area, there were loads and loads and loads of chimneys because it's a very industrial area. Anyway, the leaves are lovely, a russet color, because um, I know you don't really get this in Australia, but I just love the Australian vegetation. Anyway, I'm gonna go home now and have a late breakfast because I'm sticking to the Camino pattern walk and then <laughs> have your breakfast hours later. Take care, love you, bye. It's always so nice to hear from Margaret and she's also thinking about Christmas already. I'm gonna start again. Apparently a Christmas tree might be being set up as we speak. <laughs> what day do you guys put up your Christmas tree? Doesn't have to be too dramatic, you know. Uh, yeah, and so just hang it like that. Second batch. This is the Greek time. Again, just gonna put an elastic band around it. Thread this through. Ribbon. Okay, we're going to tie it up now. I'll just pop 
park it there near the kitchen so that if it does fall it will be caught down there yeah okay it's basically just to the doorknob Simple, 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 simple. And this one too. And just tie it in a loop. Yeah. How to dry herbs, M-Way. Still take the door open, still, you know. It's very old, my kitchen, but We'll figure a way to make it look a bit more. These spring. ones that could not be tied up, what I normally do is get a plate like that. And I just put it here. Yeah. Yep. So that's kind of like my very. There's not much bench that I have, but what bench I have, I stack it with stuff that I cook with. So that's my. It's quite a joyful corner for me because it's all fresh and cooking like. And that way, once it starts to dry, you can just pick it up and cook with it. This is um, sweet potatoes, onions, ginger, garlic. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to make a chicken pot roast today. It's actually just half a chicken, but um, it's all good. Some chicken that I've browned. I'm going to put in tomatoes and potatoes and pretty much just cook it. <laughs> These are the potatoes. Just put a little bit of wine and it's basically anything that's in the fridge, to be honest. And um, yeah, I'm just going to put some more potatoes and then cover this with some chicken broth and then just cook it until it's all softened and put a can of tomatoes in it too. Probably need a bit more on that. We'll just cut that. Oh, I wish you could smell this. I love garlic. Love, love, love garlic. It's just that. And some thyme as well. Why not? Pepper. I will finish this with some peas, but just let that brew for a second. Oh, oh no. Okay. Look at that. I think I'm just going to let it rest and then it's time, I think. I kind of like it quite soupy. And if there is any of those, I don't know. Oh, here you go. See this? That came from, I think, the thyme. Just throw it out. Okay. Okay. Back so You can pretty much turn off the, the heat once um, the peas have gone in and then just close the lid. And it'll be ready to eat soon. All right, it's time to eat. So, oops. Oh, it's missing one thing. I'm running out of parsley, so don't want to go too crazy. little sprinkle of chili flakes mm. beautiful hi darling yes look at the little toes look at the little toes 
Hey guys, I'm just here because I am going to my friend's parents' house party. Actually, they've just sold their house. It's a family home for my friend. And their parents are going into a much smaller dwelling. It's just all part of this next stage that I'm currently thinking about. And um, yeah, so they're having a farewell to their house party. And I've been invited, which is lovely. It's actually a really beautiful house. So I will... Um, try and showcase a bit of it so you can see what it looks like i have good mem memories of it when i was um, at school with my friend and we used to like run up the stairs and all kinds of mischief in the in the kitchen i'm probably a little bit underdressed but um i don't know i think since coming back from the camino i haven't really been you know getting too dressed up for these kind of functions it's quite a kind of smart casual but of course you realize that um some of these people would be frocking up since they're kind of more old school so that should be interesting beautiful house isn't it and look at the most gorgeous hydrangeas so stunning it's such a shame that this house has been sold <laughs> i wish i could have afforded it but um, i've always loved this house Beeping goodies by. Oh, wow. I'm here with Anne, who's walked the Camino. What what time? What um, this was 2006. Okay, tell me what what was it like for you? It was absolutely fantastic. It was we went from Saria into Compostela, and it was with two other couples, oh, yes. Joan over here. Yes. And it is the most wonderful experience yeah. and just meeting different people and being able to to finish it. Was, was it hard on the body when you did it? Nice. You were quite fit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you like Santiago? Oh, no. Wasn't it a, a great town? Absolutely. Yes, yes. No, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So would, that's fine. That's fine, yeah. And so if there were three words to describe your experience, what would that be? Adventurous. Beautiful. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. Adventurous. Yes. Um, oh, resilient. Uh huh. <laughs> and hopeful. Oh, fantastic! Yes. And what shoes did you wear at the time? Oh, boots. Yeah, yes. Wear decent shoes. That's right. Shoes. Did you go to end of the world? Musia, Musia or Finisterre? No. No, no. no didn't. Yeah, yeah. No, from there we went, got, uh, just Peter and I got a, um, our car and went down to Portugal. Oh, there, to Porto? Lovely. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Love Porto. Yeah, down yes. To oh. Absolutely oh, you really have the best yes. of the Camino, I feel. Yes. <laughs> did you visit the crypt of St. James? Yes. Yeah, did you see, yes. you know, when you went to the Mass, the Pilgrim's Mass, did you yes. see the. the yes. Oh, that Absolutely. was still happening there? Yes. Oh, wasn't that amazing? Yes. I really yes. love the city of Santiago. There's so I much found, you can do. I found it was the most arriving at Santiago with, you know, your backpack and your boots and smelling and whatever. <laughs> yes. It was the most moving experience. Wasn't it? Because you've achieved something. Yes. Yeah. And well, we got there for 12 o'clock mass. Oh, and it was wow. The most wonderful achievement. Now, you've got your Compostela. Is it framed? No. <laughs> That is such a similar story. Everyone's got it rolled in their little cupboard somewhere. I haven't framed mine yet. Will you ever go back, you think? I'd love to. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I could walk in if it could be no. I'm yes, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It certainly was a very good experience. But you did it, which is so much yes. better than, you know, not having done it. Thanks, Anne. Thank you. Thank you.